high and now with the full run of Chronicles and right now we're in downtown Toronto on Young and Davenport and as you can see I'm in front of a Masonic temple but that's not all it is check this out that's right as you can see this Masonic temple is actually MTV studio MTV Studios actually bought this Masonic temple to shoot programming in here. And this is just additional information to help you understand everything that we've been talking about in the videos. How they actually try to tap into this occult power so that they can influence our minds with this media. That's what's going on right here behind us at this MTV Studio building, which is nothing more than a Masonic temple. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up. This thing is serious. Now take a look at this and think for a second. Not only have they retained the name Masonic Temple on the face of this MTV studio building, but directly above the MTV logo is the Freemason Compass and Square. Now that's a pretty interesting place for them to choose to situate their MTV logo. Now MTV obviously has enough money to make the necessary modifications to this building to remove the compass and square and the words Masonic Temple. At least they could put MTV Studios there. So why haven't they? Well, I ran into one of their employees and they gave me some very interesting history on the whole situation. Now, according to this MTV employee, this Masonic Temple was originally purchased by CTV, which is the parent company of MTV. And at the time of this purchase, the owner of CTV, which by the way happens to be the largest media outfit in Canada, was a Freemason. <laughs> which explains why, in the year 2005, CTV laid this commemorative cornerstone in honor of the Grand Master that was responsible for the erection of this Masonic edifice. And wait, it gets even better. Or should I say, it gets even more twisted. When I continued to speak with this MTV employee, she informed me that everything within this Masonic temple, which is now MTV Studios, has been preserved for the most part in its original state. The throne room, which consists of several elaborately carved stone thrones, is still located within the upper precincts of this temple. And the most shocking part of all, is that MTV's main recording studio is located in the former Masonic Worship Hall, which explains all by itself what I'm about to show you next. This is a picture of the same Masonic temple in the year 2005 when it housed MTV's parent company, CTV. Now this is a current picture of the same Freemason Worship Center which is presently the home of MTV Studios. Notice that the words Masonic Temple are nowhere to be found on the structure when it was the headquarters of CTV. This is because the words Masonic Temple were added when CTV placed MTV Studios in this occult cathedral. Which makes you wonder, what does MTV really stand for? I don't know, kitties, but something doesn't smell right. I mean, really, what does MTV really stand for? And finally, take a look at this still frame from one of MTV's filler commercials. Obviously, this is an all-seeing eye emitting the rays of the sun, which in the occult is a symbol of Lucifer, the light bearer. In this commercial, this all-seeing eye can be seen erratically spinning in all directions. But when you freeze the frames of this very short commercial, you'll find something very disturbing. In the first few frames, you'll notice that there is something located in the corner of the all-seeing eye. It is the number 33. And then, when you freeze the video clip a few frames later, you will find another very curious object located on this occult symbol. The object is the Freemason compass and square. Put them both together and what do you get? The 33rd degree of Freemasonry. 
This is why the all-seeing eye in this filler commercial is shown with the rays of the sun emitting from it because it is at the 33rd degree of Freemasonry that the initiate receives a collar similar to this one with the occult symbol of the all-seeing eye emitting the rays of the sun and the number 33 inside of the pyramid. And according to Freemason philosophy, the initiate must be able to skillfully use the compass and square to understand the hidden knowledge of this high degree of masonry. And according to Albert Pike, the most noted author of Freemason literature, it is at the 33rd degree that the initiate discovers that the god of the Freemasons is Lucifer. It's obvious. Somebody at MTV knows a little bit more than a little bit about Freemasonry. And it appears as though they want you to know too. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 2, wherein in time past ye used to walk according to the prince of the power of this air, the spirit which now worketh in the children of disobedience, it's clear to see that right now Satan, whom is the prince of the power of the air, he is masterfully and aggressively utilizing the airwaves to broadcast his insidious deceptions directly into our homes via our favorite media into our television sets, our flat screen TVs, our computers, our iPads, and our iPods. He is crippling our minds so that we can never obtain to revealing the glory of the infinite God of the universe. The Bible lets us know in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. These so-called stars, these so-called entertainers that profess to be servants of God, which are no more than individuals that are serving their own selfish desires, they're being used as the pansies of the devil to pour down your throat the drunken wine of Babylon. You're falling for this garbage? It's time to wake up. And don't think that you're so smart. Don't think that you're so headstrong that you cannot be overcome by these deceptions because the Bible tells us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33, be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. And that means you too. The choice is yours. It's wake up season. As always, this is the forerunner. And whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth.